OC Glam Bag Review. Yay! So I got my Glam Bag in the mail a couple days ago. And so here's my review. Here's the bag. I already opened it because I was too excited to wait. Anyway, so here's the bag. And I think it's much cuter than last month's. I like it a lot. In fact, I think it's going to become my travel makeup bag now. Forgive the, the monkeys. My bathroom has much better lighting than my bedroom. And I'm going to have to do this quick. Because I don't know when someone's going to need the bathroom next. Anyway. So in my glam bag this month, I got Carol's Daughter's Sacred Tear Styling Cream. And this is the only one I haven't used yet. It's for blow drying your hair. And I don't blow dry my hair. I just don't have the time to do it. I usually wake up about 20 minutes before I'm supposed to go to work. And I very rarely even wear makeup to work. When I do wear makeup, it's when I've had all day to do stuff. And nothing else is going on. So, you know... I haven't used this yet, so I honestly can't review it, other than, you know, what it smells like, what it feels like on my hand, and what I have done with it, I liked. I know not much of a smell to it, and it feels nice. So there. Anyway, moving on, there's Ofra's Eyebrow Pencil. In universal it's a brown see it's a, a brown shade there and well to be honest I'm never gonna use it never ever gonna use this and you want to know why because I have pretty intense eyebrows as it is I don't generally need to fill my eyebrows in at all so there's that. I did like how easily it went on and how easily it blended. So, you know, should I ever over pluck my eyebrows, that will definitely be the pencil I go to. And moving on, what we have next is Nickack, or maybe it's Nika K, New York. Shimmer Liner in blue. And this, this is my favorite color. You can't really see it properly on my camera here. But this is my favorite color. And if I'm wearing it, and see it transferred a little bit up here into my eyeshadow. When I was putting on the sealer, because, as I'm about to say, this bleeds. I don't wear it on a rainy day. Don't wear it if it's humid. Don't wear it if you suspect you're going to sweat at all or cry or even get a little misty eyed. It bleeds. So I'm trying it with Elf's liner sealer, which is supposed to be for using eyeliner. Not eyeliner, eyeshadow as eyeliner. So we'll see if that works. <laughs> but other than that, I love the color. I love how easily it goes on. I love the applicator. Love everything else about this. So if the liner sealer works with this, I will probably wear it fairly often because it's my favorite color. And I just can't do anything without, I just love my favorite obviously. Next we have Real Tree for Her. Let me see if I can get it out of the bag one-handed since I'm filming this with my phone because still no no real filming setup. Ah, how graceful I am. Anyway, I have tried this. It's not my favorite smell in the world, 
that's one I could probably get used to and enjoy later. I like the applicator. I like that it's small. Fit in your purse. As far as the two perfumes that Ipsy has sent me, I definitely prefer Calvin Klein's Euphoria. I think that's what it was called. I don't know, I use it every day though. And I think this is one that I would like once I got used to it. Kind of smelled like old lady perfume to start off with, but I don't know. Last but not least is NYX Butter Gloss in Eclair. And I love this. Love it, love it, love it. I have worn it every day since getting it. And you can't tell the color. The color's not quite as obvious as that because I'm wearing a bright pink lipstick underneath it. Because I was feeling bold. Dairy tonight. Anyway, so here's this. I love it. It says that it will feel like it melts on your lips, and it really does. It smells divine. It feels so smooth on my lips, and it's just generally fantastic. So, all in all, I think since there are, you know, two products this time that I can see myself using a lot and possibly later on if I ever get into a routine after all of the traveling is done this summer and I might be working in a routine instead of um you know just morning sometimes afternoon sometimes then maybe I will start using you know the the hair cream. Oh, update on last month's glam bag. Since I've had a chance to go through the products a bit more. Still not a huge fan of the Pacifica um, eyeshadows. They, they just don't do it for me. And um, let's see. What else have I used more? Oh, I used the thermal water again because I got some pretty bad razor burn the last time I shaved my legs because I need a new razor head, which I have. I just didn't take the time to put it on. So I used it and yeah, I, I guess it helped. Yeah, I, I might use it again in the future. Um, but the big thing that I have a different opinion on, considering last month's stuff, is the Eva NYC conditioner. It's here in my messy shower. Don't peek. Yeah, because I've been using it more. Yeah, the Neva NYC therapy mask. Because I ran out of the conditioner I normally use and didn't want to go buy some more and so I've just been mixing that with the conditioner that the rest of my family uses and I live with my mom who has a boy haircut and my younger brother who has short hair so you know when I have these this isn't as curly as it usually is but my hair gets ringlets down here sometimes depending on if I've let it just dry naturally. Today it was up so it didn't dry naturally. It's usually a little bit more curly than this so I get wicked tangles. See there's there's a nasty, well actually that was a small one there. So I get wicked tangles so I need a thicker shampoo, not shampoo, conditioner than my mom or brother. So I've been mixing that in, and I have found that I like it better now if I mix it in with others. And even if I just use it on its own, even though it still smells kind of like an old lady to me. But other than that, everything has stayed the same. And see you next month.